Hey, what's up everyone? Got a little issue here I want to address. Um, if you watched my last video, I went over how I built this thing. There's a couple little issues I had to address. I wasn't ready, but I'm ready now. So I want to show you what I go ahead and did. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you. And uh, we're getting up there. Uh, 1,000's coming. So let me show you what I have and uh, what I'm doing to fix it. If you're familiar with these barrel evaporators, you already know, this is nothing new, that you can put a seal underneath it. Lots of different kinds of seals you can put in there. I've been uh, poking around at people who know, and my own knowledge, and I lean towards the highest flame resistant material I can find, which is pretty much, there might be higher than this, I think this is good for 2,000 degrees, and I will show you what it is. Okay, this is what I bought. I just got it off Amazon. But there's a part number, and there's what it is. Super wool is what they call it. Um, it's better than ceramic. It's just, uh, it's got a little bit better insulating properties. So that's what I used. It is, I think, a half inch thick by like an inch wide or something like that. Is that what it says there? Yeah. Right there. I think I paid like 30 bucks for that whole roll. And I will show you what I did to install it. Well, my opening is like 30 inches, this whole opening right here. So you want to cut it just a little bit longer than that, just enough so you can tuck it in the corners like I did there. I kind of tucked it in so it kind of holds it in place. See it there, not a whole lot, just enough to go ahead and pull it down into that into that corner and it kind of holds the ends in. And it really helped to uh my other video I showed you a little problem I had there. I just push it up against there and look at that. It seals it real nice. And the weight of the panel hold it in. Um it's very flimsy stuff. Let me show you. It's not very durable at all, but it, it'll tear real easily. But uh it does what it's supposed to do, you just gotta be careful. Um, the main issue was the ends of my barrel. So I'm going to put the pan in here and I'm going to show you the ends and what I'm going to do. And look at that. It's so nice right there. But I want to show you these ends right here specifically and what I'm going to do. Because I got some pretty good gaps there. I'll give you a close-up view, and uh, I got a solution, pretty good one. Okay, this pan I'm using, they bent a little two-inch witness line right here in it for when I boil. I know my two-inch depth, I always got a visual. But by doing that, it did put a little bit of a kink in the pan right here. Kind of hard to see, but... So it makes the uh, cut not seal very well until it gets up here in the middle where, to keep, where that two inches isn't no more. So I gotta fill that gap. So check this out, here's what I'm gonna do. It's about 19 inches long, so I cut a couple strips of this stuff, 19 inches. Let me zoom out. Okay, now all I wanna do is lay it on there Push it up against there. Center it up. Pretty close there. And uh, push it up against there real nice. Sealed all that. And here's my trick. Got me a piece of, uh, I think it's a 16th inch aluminum. Real easy to bend. I put five holes in there for a number eight 32 screw. And I'm going to put that guy on there. Just like that. I'm gonna make sure it's uh, got insulation has to be hanging that way. So I gotta make sure I don't cover that edge up. And I'm gonna drill through the barrel, but I'm gonna push the insulation kind of tight against the pan before I drill through this and attach it. So I can push the insulation and crowd it to the pan so it has a good seal. But just, just laying there right now, all naturally. Look at that. Got a nice seal all the way down there. And I think that's gonna work nice. 
So I'm going to attach this bar here, and I will show you what it looks like. Well, that's what it looks like. Just added that strip. See what I did? Tighten them up. They're not like super tight. You don't need to be. All you're trying to do is squish it out. There we go. And seal that pan on the end. And that worked pretty good. Like I said, that material is not super durable, so you do got to be careful. I'll probably have to change it every year, I'm sure. But uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I got the same condition over there. I'm just trying to plug that up a little bit, that's all. I mean, you can probably stuff anything in there if you want, but I just thought that was a nice, clean way to do it. You know, the more off and on with the pan, it's going to screw it up. But, I mean, look at that. That's nice. I like it. So that's what I did. I don't see much on the internet or YouTube addressing that issue. You know, everybody knows how to do that. That's pretty simple down there. So let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna do a test burn here soon. And uh, that'll tell me, I already did a test burn once and it was a lot of smoke was coming out. That's why I'm doing all this. There's a lot of smoke coming out and uh, I don't want that, so. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Yeah, any other suggestions that maybe you can share? Um, you know, I'm always open to suggestions. Um, also, I did use stainless steel hardware. I always use stainless and all my hardware on this if I can. Thank you for watching. Again, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much for supporting us. And uh, more content coming soon.